Question 1. What operating system is required for Visual Fox Pro 9.0? Answer. Developing applications with Visual Fox Pro 9.0 is supported only on Microsoft Windows 2000 Service Pack 3 or later. Windows XP, Windows Server 2003 and Windows Vista. You can create and distribute runtime applications for Windows 98, Windows Me, Windows 2000 Service Pack 3 or later. Windows XP, Windows Server 2003 and Windows Vista. Installation on Windows NT 4.0 Terminal Server Edition is not supported. Question 2 Will there be a Visual Fox Pro 10.0? Answer No. There will not be another major release of Visual Fox Pro. See announcement. A message to the community. March 2007. Question 3 Will there be updates to Visual Fox Pro? Answer Yes. Visual Fox Pro will continue to be supported as per the life cycle policy. HTTP colon slash slash support dot Microsoft dot com slash life cycle slash question mark P1 equals 7992. Visual Fox Pro 9 will be supported until 2014. In support of these products we may release patch updates from time to time. These typically fix problems discovered either internally or by a customer and and reported to our product support engineers. Question 4 Will there be a service pack 3 for Visual Fox Pro 9? Answer At this time there are no plans to release a service pack for Visual Fox Pro. However, if there arises a need to publish a collection of fixes we may release a service pack. We will make announcements on the Visual Fox Pro homepage. Question 5. What types of applications can I build with Visual Fox Pro 9.0? Answer. With its local cursor engine, tight coupling between language and data, and powerful features such as object-oriented programming, Visual Fox Pro 9.0 is a great tool for building database solutions of all sizes, from desktop and client-slash-server database applications to data-intensive COM components and XML web services. Visual Fox Pro 9.0 is an application application development tool for building extremely powerful database applications and components. Its data-centric, object-oriented language offers developers a robust set of tools for building database applications on the desktop client-slash-server or on the web through components and XML web services. Developers will have the necessary tools to manage data from organizing tables of information, running queries, and creating an integrated relational database management system DBMS, to programming a fully developed data management application for end users. Question 6. Can I use Visual Fox Pro to build web applications? Answer. Visual Fox Pro com components can be used with Internet Information Services IIS to build high-powered Internet database applications. This is because Visual Fox Pro components can be called from Active Server Pages ASP. Visual Fox Pro is compatible with ASP but works even better in conjunction with the more modern ASP.NET. The components will retrieve and manipulate data and will build some of the HTML return to the user. Question 7. Can you consume XML web services with Visual Fox Pro? Answer. Yes. Visual Fox Pro 9.0 makes it easy to consume XML web services by integrating the SOAP toolkit into the product. Question 8. Is Visual Fox Pro a part of MSDN subscriptions? Answer. Yes. Visual Fox Pro 9.0 is included in the professional, enterprise, and universal levels of MSDN subscriptions. Visual Fox Pro 9.0 is available for download to MSDN subscribers via MSDN subscriber downloads. Question 9. How long will Visual Fox Pro be supported by Microsoft? Answer. Visual Fox Pro 9.0 has standard support by Microsoft through January 2010 and extended support through January 2015 as per the Developer Tools Lifecycle Support Policy. Question 10. How long will the SOAP toolkit included in Visual Fox Pro 9.0 be supported by Microsoft? Answer. Licensed users of Visual Fox Pro 9.0 have a special life cycle support plan for the SOAP toolkit supported by Microsoft on the same support plan as Visual Fox Pro 8.0 which is through April 2008 and extended support through September 2013. 
Question 11 Is Visual Fox Pro 9.0 compatible with Visual Studio 2005 and SQL Server 2005? Answer Yes. We improved XML support and added new data types in Visual Fox Pro 9.0 which improves .NET Interop and SQL Server compatibility. Moreover the Sedina add-on pack includes improvements to the Data Explorer and the Upsizing Wizard. These have significant improvements to support SQL Server 2005. Question 12. How does Visual Fox Pro 9.0 compare to SQL Server? Answer. We do not contrast Visual Fox Pro versus SQL Server. We position SQL Server as a database engine and Visual Fox Pro as a developer tool. While Visual Fox Pro has a database engine built in, it is not positioned as a standalone database engine only. The trend is for an increasing amount of Visual Fox Pro based applications to use SQL Server as the data storage in the solution. Of course, this is not required. It depends on the requirements of the solution. SQL Server offers security, reliability, replication, and many other features of a full relational database engine while the Visual Fox Pro database system is an open file-based DBF system that does not have many of those features. We leave it up to developers and companies to position and to compare various Microsoft products and technologies with each other and decide which ones are best for them to use when and how. Question 13. Are there plans to enhance the 2GB database size limit in Visual Fox Pro? Answer. The 2GB limit is per table, not per database. We do not have any plans to extend the 2GB table size limit in Visual Fox Pro due to many reasons including the 32-bit architecture that already exists within the product. For large, scalable databases we recommend SQL Server 2008. Question 14. Is Visual Fox Pro supported on Windows Vista? Answer. Yes. Visual Fox Pro 9 Service Pack 2 is fully supported on Windows Vista. Question 15. Are there plans for Visual Fox Pro to support 64-bit versions of the Windows operating system? Answer. No. While Visual Fox Pro will remain 32-bit and not natively use 64-bit addressing, it will run in 32-bit compatibility mode. Visual Studio 2008 supports creating native 64-bit applications.